I can also make the same plot by dividing this single line of code into several lines. I can assign the base ggplot function to a variable or a named object called base plot. If I do that, then I can refer to that function by its name and then add in the second function to the original one. The effect is exactly the same as before. There is no different in the graph. So why might I want to do it this way? If you're going to create a number of plots using the same base data, then it might make sense from the standpoint of clarity to assign it to a variable, and then you don't have to repeat this code. You can just use the variable name. Another reason why I want to mention this is because this is a convention that's used in the ggplot cheat sheet. On the ggplot cheat sheet, at the top of each category, a base function is assigned to a variable, as shown here, and then each of the variations is shown by simply adding that base function onto additional functions that are needed to create the particular type of plot that's needed. Another way to make the form of the plot a little more clear is to place the additional functions that are being added to the base function on separate lines. In this code, I have exactly the same functions as I had when I put them on a single line. The only difference is that the second function is placed on the second line. One critical thing to pay attention to here is that if we are going to put the functions on a separate line, we have to leave the plus sign trailing at the end of the previous line. If we don't do that, then our studio does not know that the, fun that the next functions are continued on the next line and it will not execute properly. If I click this and run it, I end up with exactly the same plot as I had before. So all three of these plots that I made are, are the same plot regardless of the form in which I put the different pieces.